After months of controversy surrounding Franklin mayoral candidate Gabrielle Hansen, the people have spoken. Hansen lost in a landslide to incumbent mayor Ken Moore yesterday. Now Moore says he's focused on the future. And he sat down with News Channel 5's Jason Lamb to talk about the issues he says Franklin still faces. In just three words, Franklin Mayor Ken Moore describes how he feels following the mayoral race that drew national attention. I feel great. Moore beat controversial mayoral candidate and alderman Gabrielle Hansen by a margin of nearly four to one following a campaign where Hansen openly embraced white supremacists and Christian nationalism. Uh, I think in many people's minds, uh, what we're really about was overshadowed with people talking about the city is crumbling, uh, that there's uh, a corruption in City Hall. Uh, you know, I don't believe those things. And I think if you look at the record of our city, our city is not crumbling and it's not full of corruption. We're very, very transparent about everything that we do. Moore says it's now time to focus on the issues facing the city, namely capital projects like roads, as the city continues to grow. And the issues continue to be how we manage growth moving, moving forward. You know, Franklin's a community that's been growing at 2,000 people a year for 20 years. So we've been managing the growth, and with growth comes challenges. And with that growth, like other cities, Moore says his priority is on affordable housing. Many of our workers in Williamson County and Franklin don't live here. They have to drive in, which compounds the traffic issue. But more than anything, he says Tuesday's election revealed the values Franklin truly holds dear. It's okay to buck the noise on the edges. And I think that's what we've seen here is the noises were very, the edges were very noisy in Williamson County and Franklin. And the middle has risen up and said, this is what we want Franklin to be. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. Jason, thanks. Even with a 9,000 vote gap between them, Mayor Moore says Hansen has still not called him to officially concede the election.